Good morning. It's Thursday, January 23rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Elephant Goes on a Rampage, and our scripture is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in His temple. For he will conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. In 2007, I took a little trip with a group of Baptists, Methodists, and Assembly of God folks to Zimbabwe, Africa. Our mission was to teach end times theology to pastors in a seminary, to build a building in 10 days for future students, and in our spare time, hold a vacation Bible school for 150 kids in 110 degree heat. I learned a lot in that 10 day adventure, particularly about dealing with adversity. On that trip, I met people whose daily tasks were dictated by whether there would be food somewhere in the coming week. When you live in American culture, adversity is only having a 4G network. By the end of the week, I was feeling guilty about missing the comforts of my home when my new friends were grateful just to have a roof over their school building to shade them from the relentless midday sun. We got one day of being tourists. We got to ride in an open Jeep-like vehicle for a mini safari into the bush. Seeing wildlife in the wild is spectacular. Our ride through the African plains to an Engedi of a watering hole was surreal. On that little excursion, I learned something very important to the life of following Jesus as a disciple when we were threatened by a beast that could have squashed our huge jeep wagon and the dozen occupants without even breaking a sweat. The elephant blocked our pathway through the brush as we were headed towards the oasis, the watering hole, not quite a lake really, more like a mud hole. But that elephant considered it his mud hole, and he stood firmly unmovable, ready to defend his home and herd. We hadn't seen him until we were only 20 feet away. Suddenly, being nose to trunk with a 10-foot-tall, 10-ton behemoth with an attitude, our guide stopped the vehicle and said in a low, steady voice, Be very quiet and still. I had no problem with that. My legs would not have moved if you'd beat me with a baseball bat. After several looks at us with eyes that resembled something I'd seen on a TV show about zombies and devils, the mountain of gray with a tail at both ends snorted and lumbered off, leaving a dozen American sets of eyes frozen open in disbelief at how fragile our lives were and how calmly our African host remained when borderline rage was staring us down and fear had imprisoned his passengers. That was the first time I connected the dots with King David's psalm and how, if attacked or even just threatened, he would remain confident. Perhaps this confidence grew from years of being protected in the wilderness from bears and lions as he protected the sheep that he was tending. David understood the power of his God to keep him, no matter the circumstances. There is a difference between presenting a confident image for others to see, as opposed to having a non-anxious spirit because you've entrusted your life, past, present, and future, to the God that nobody sees. David could rest his spirit in the presence of the Lord because that presence was always there. For you today... When you've lived long enough and sinned big enough to know just how much you're in need of God's forgiveness and providence and protection, like David, you've probably discovered God's been doing that for you since long before you even suspected it. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.